Everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have all three boom boxes. We're going to do them all in the same video. Typically, I'll break these up and I'll do the Elite boom box separately since it's so high end. But I figure, what the heck? Let's just do them all together instead of making you wait until Tuesday for the Elite boom box. We got Mystery Box Monday tomorrow, by the way. We've got an auction tonight. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. We do these videos every single day. Now let's go ahead and get started. I guess we'll start off with the lowest of the three options. That's the mid-end box. It's a $90 box called the mid-end boom box. If you'd like to grab one of these, I'll put a link in the description to the video to the boom box website. And you can pick one up for yourself. We've been doing these for years now. And uh, I believe a lot of you have tried the boom box for yourself here or there. And as you know, sometimes you get some great hits in these, sometimes you don't. It's just basically like buying a box or a pack for yourself. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's not. Almost like a lottery ticket every time when it comes to baseball cards. So the packs in the, the not 20, the $90 box are going to be a 2022 Gypsy Queen Hobby Pack, fresh off the presses the newest release actually there's two of those there's a 2021 chrome pack an opening day pack from 2022 a heritage miners pack from 2021 a bowman pack uh so far by the way they're all hobby packs and i mean opening day is kind of like debatable even if you do an opening day hobby box those are still the same packs as uh as retail this is a nice one there by the way hobby pack of 2022 heritage a big old hobby jumbo pack of bowman and those boxes are pretty expensive for bowman as you know so let's take a look at the odds and the sell sheet here you can see the best hit odds are going to be in that bowman jumbo pack there's all the social media links right there they're running a freddy promo for a freddy freeman autograph bat maybe you'll get lucky enough to find one of those maybe we'll get lucky enough to find a big hit today all right, so we've got three boom boxes here. I'm going to go ahead and make my call right now. I'm going to predict that we find three autographs. That's that's my prediction. Three autos is what I'd like to find. I should have said hits, but uh, we might have a relic or two. I'm going to go for three autographs is my hope. So we'll start off with the Heritage Miners looking for Wander Franco. Unfortunately, we don't get him there. Uh, also, I love the one touches, by the way, that they give us with these. Let's do opening day and... Basically, with opening day, there are autographs in here, but they're very tough to find. So we're just hoping we can maybe find a Dugout Peaks, which is a super rare insert card. We don't get it there. We've got one of those Bomb Squad cards, which are very common. We'll do the Heritage from 2022 next. Let's see what we've got in this one. We got a Dubal Herrera right there. Zach Wheeler as well. There's Adrian Hauser. Joey Votto from the Reds. Trevor Rogers, the Gold Cup card. Aristides Aquino still around. There's Bryce Harper and Eddie Rosario is the last one. We'll save the, the Bowman for last. Let's do the Chrome pack next. I like Chrome. I can't wait for 2022 Chrome to come out, although it's going to be very, very expensive, I believe. There's a nice Tyler Stevenson rookie card along with Luis Garcia. So we're getting kind of shut out here. Nothing really going on yet, but we did start out with some of the lower-end packs. We're saving the higher-end packs, the Bowman packs for last. Let's check out our Gypsy Queen, and maybe we'll get a hit in this. There's a chance for some autos in here, and also maybe one of those logo swaps with the team name. Garrett Crochet and Adam Duvall. Go on to the next one. Vlad Jr. on the front of Gypsy Queen. I believe he's also the cover boy of Series 2, so kind of back-to-back -back cover boy spots for Vladdy, which is kind of cool. There's Michael Brantley on the next pack and Shane Bieber. We've got Brett Gardner, Wilson Contreras, and unfortunately, no autograph here either. So the mid-end box is starting out with a little bit of a sputter here. Maybe Bowman can save the box. We'll do the hobby pack first and see what we can find. The best guys in here, if you're new to Bowman, are Khalil Watson and Ellie De La Cruz. And it looks like my daughter is um, <laughs> uh, coming. Yeah, Elsa. Sure thing, bring it down. So we stopped off at Walmart and got Kinder Toys, which are, I'll show it to you. It's like this little mystery box or a little mystery candy bar for the kiddos. And it has a like a little piece of candy in there and also a toy. So I'll show you on the screen. Next, if she brings it down, I think she just gilled down. I'll, I'll go up and, and uh, open it up as soon as this video is done here. Unless she wants to bring it down to me. 
We got the Jumbo Pack next. And there's Mike Trout. We've got Kevin Alcantara as well. Nick York. Harry Berto Hernandez. Max Muncy. Darrell Hernandez. Looks like there's not going to be an autograph in this one, unfortunately. So the first box is... I guess you can officially chalk it up to being a dud. No autograph in it. But we have, you know, some redemptions here. We have Platinum next. The Platinum is $140 coming up next. And uh, you hear the kids yelling right now. All right. So now let's get into the Platinum Boom Box and see what we have in here. One of the uh, downfalls of going last night. We had a Saturday showdown until like almost 3 a.m., so typically I would have filmed this video right after that just to get it done because I like to film the videos when the kiddos are asleep. But I'm doing it while they're up right now and uh, probably we're getting interrupted again. We have a thicker magnetic card, one touch right there. And here's the platinum box. Let's see, we have a Heritage from 2022 pack. Gypsy Queen's back again. We got a Bowman pack from... Uh, 2022 hobby. There's a first edition pack right there. There's a 2020 pack. There is a Gypsy Queen pack. And again, we have a jumbo pack of 2022. Here's all the hit odds. So a lot of the same packs as last time. The difference is no opening day pack. You get a 2020 Bowman pack and a 2022 Bowman first edition pack, which is pretty nice. We'll go ahead and start things off with Gypsy Queen. And I'm looking forward to the... Bowman first edition pack to see what we have in there. Gypsy Queen is, uh, you know, a nice set, but haven't found anything yet in any of these packs so far. Let's get into the next one. We've got a Luke Williams leading things off. There's Mike Trout. Joey Votto, and haven't even found a missing nameplate in any of these yet. Next, we'll go into Heritage. And see if we can maybe find an autograph. Looks like three was uh, maybe a little bit too much of a request. I was hoping to find three autographs. And uh, we're getting completely shut out so far. Now, this is going to have the best chance in an autograph. But we'll see if we find anything at all. That's the way these go. Sometimes we'll find a ton of autos in just a single box. And sometimes we won't find any. Got Ryan Mountcastle from 2020 Bowman. A couple chrome that's there. Ronaldo Hernandez and Tristan Lutz. Robel Garcia is the last one. Let's do our Bowman first from 2022 and see what we can find. So we've got Victor Lizarraga first. Bowman, Robert Dominguez as well. Junior Sanchez. There's Blaze Jordan. And Spencer Torkelson as well. Really disappointed that Torkelson is not going to be in Series 2. There's Elrod. So a couple nice prospects in there. And Torkelson and Elrod. We got Bowman packs. Saving these for last again. Do the hobby pack first. $140 again for this box that we're on right here. We got Josh Lau. Or Josh Lowe, rather. No relation to Brandon Lau. Despite being on the same team. It's a pretty decent rookie card. And... Unfortunately, no big hit there. So it comes down to this pack. It might just be the Elite Boombox that saves us. What do you think the high-end pack is going to be in there? It would be interesting to see. Typically, there's uh, sometimes they have a pack worth uh, upwards of almost $200 as the anchor pack. We'll check it out and see what we have here. Here's all of our veterans and rookies to lead things off. And we'll get into the Chrome cards as well. A couple of refractors. Can we, there we go. I was going to say, can we at least get an Ellie De La Cruz or a Khalil Watson? We got one of them. Ellie De La Cruz, first chrome is a nice one. Curtis Mead is another very nice prospect. But again, no autograph to speak of. So 0 for 2 on the boxes. I guess it's a good thing we did do all three of these in the same video. Because now we can conclude with the Elite Boom Box. This is the highest of the high end. It's $260 for this. The packs will be more expensive, and that is uh, that's why. So let's see what we have in this edition of the June box. And you'll see a really nice pack at the top there, along with the one touch. It's going to be a Bowman draft pack from 2020, looking for Spencer Torkelson's first Bowman card. In addition to that, we also have a pack of uh, 
Jumbo from Bowman. It's our third one. We've got to find an autograph of one of these. One of these, you would think. A 2021 Bowman's Best Pack. You got a 2022 Bowman Pack of Hobby. You got a Gypsy Queen Pack and a Tribute Pack, which is a very, very nice pack. Every single pack has an autograph in those. So we're going to come away with at least one autograph. Here's all the odds. You see a one-to-one -one hit ratio and Tribute. All the hit odds are pretty low. One-to-one, one-to-one, one and four, one and four, one and three. So we'll see if, who knows, maybe we'll have an awesome box here and actually break through with three autographs when it's all said and done after all. Right now, only one card of note, one noteworthy card. It's the Ellie De La Cruz. Let's see if we can change that with this box. We'll start out here with Gypsy Queen. We've got Josh Donaldson, which is not numbered. Nice chrome card, though. Next, we'll do the Bowman Packs from 2022. It's our third try on these Bowman Packs. We've got Ha Song Kim right there and Vlad Jr. Pedro Pineda and darn it, no autograph yet again. Wilmon Diaz is the last one. Let's check out the Jumbo Pack. Basically, we're going to need three out of these last four packs to have autos to... Uh, reach my goal. Shane Boss is on the front and Juan Yepes. By the way, these two are the headliners of Series 2, disappointingly, two of the best rookies. And of course, you got the uh, the redo of Wander Franco, a second Wander Franco rookie card being put in Series 2, which uh, makes no sense. So it's basically those two guys along with uh, O'Neill Cruz and Seth Beer. So there's really no new rookies to even chase after because all those guys that are in there, well, they're also in uh, in Bowman and, and Heritage. Jack Sawinski from the Pirates up to six home runs now, having a pretty good start to his career. And Elijah Tatis first. Still nothing. Just one of those days. Let's see if we can break through with our Bowman's best back. On the front, we've got Chase Petty. We've got Blaze Jordan. We've got Ronnie. We've got a Harry Ford. And Casey Mize, Rookie Refractor. Two packs left. Bowman Draft is next. I'm saving that tribute pack for last because that's going to be quite possibly our only autograph. All right, let's see if this can come through for us. 2020 Bowman Draft is a very good set. Lots of good firsts in here. There's Patrick Bailey, who was a first-rounder. Here comes our Chrome cards. We've got Pete Crow Armstrong, Refractor. He's a first-round pick. There's Jason Dominguez. Tanner Burns, and finally an autograph. It's Marco Raya out of four ninety nine. It's his first, so there we go. We're not going to get three autos, but we will get two. Marco Raya, along with the autograph from Tribute. So a little bit of action here at the end of the video, and a Spencer Torkelson first. There we go. That's the big boy card that we're after. Spencer Torkelson in the big leagues now, not having a great first season, but, uh, you know, he's doing okay, showing a little bit of power, not a lot of average. Max Myers, a nice one, and Michael Toglia. So here we go, final pack of the video. Thanks very much for being here, everybody. We'll be doing Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. we got some new stuff come, that has come in. Walk Off Wax has sent some things in along with some other folks that have mystery products. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And now here we go, tribute, three cards. One of them's going to be an autograph. Let's go out with a bang here. We got Mario Rivera on the front. On the back, we've got Manny Machado. So who is that autograph or relic going to be? Yes, indeed, it could be a relic. I think that's probably what it is going to be because it's a thicker card. Let's hope that's not the case. Looks like it's a Yankees pitcher. It looks like it's a lefty. I'm going to guess CC Sabathia. And I'm wrong. It's going to be Aroldis Chapman. And it's going to be an Aroldis Chapman uh, triple relic. Game used. It is going to be numbered out of 199. So we only got one autograph there from that run of boom boxes. So you just saw us open the 260 boom box, the 140 boom box, and the $90 boom box. And uh, if you'd like to grab a boom box for yourself, you can try it out. And, uh, you know, didn't do so well this month, but that's the way it goes sometimes. It's like a lottery ticket. So thanks to the boom box for putting those together. Thanks for everybody for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I'll see you a little bit later in the auction tonight. We'll be doing Jerry's collection and uh, then Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. Have a great rest of your Sunday and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.